What's up, Virgo? It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your general in love reading for the first half of April. So this will be from April 1st through the 15th. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you Virgos. This will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. I will be starting out with a blockage card to see where you guys are blocked at and to see what you guys are releasing and working on for the month of April. I'm also going to pull a Archangel Gabriel, Raphael, and Archangel Michael Oracle. All right. So, and those will be your spirit messages. So let's hop into the reading. Let's see what messages are going to come in for you guys. Let it be great, Virgo. Yay. Let it be great. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. You guys know I love and appreciate all of you guys. You guys are amazing. All right. So let's see what we got. Virgo, if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, you guys can do so on my website, fireintuition.com. All right. So let's see what you guys are working on for the month of April. Messages for Virgo, April 1st through the 15th. You guys are working on freedom. All right, this is beautiful. I love this message for you guys. All right, so it says, I possess the power and free will to create my own happiness. So you guys are all about yourself. It's all about you, your free will, your happiness. You're not holding yourself back for no one. You're not putting yourself second, third, fourth, tenth, whatever. You're not last, okay? You're not putting yourself last and you're not allowing people to put you last. So um, with this freedom card, this is you like just feeling free, just doing you. I love this energy. It's like a very free energy. Okay, you guys are taking your freedom back. All right? So love it for you guys. That is your message, your blockage message. The blockage message. That's where you guys were blocked at. That's what you guys are working on. Let's see what Archangel Gabriel has to say for you guys. Messages for the sign of Virgo, April 1st through the 15th. We have law of attraction. Love it. You guys are manifesting. All right. So it says, keep your thoughts positive and surround yourself with positive people in situations and you will attract more positivity into your life. All right. So remember with that freedom card, what is it saying? You are creating your own happiness. Okay. You're making yourself happier. You're doing what you want to do. Um, you're shifting and changing your energy with that with that freedom card as well so um the law of attraction plays a big role for you guys the first half of april that's great so guys as you guys shift and come out of that freedom like that this freedom blockage it's going to open you guys up to be around um positive people or your energy is going to be more positive i don't know why i got tongue twisted all right so let's see what we have with archangel Raphael. And then after that, we're going to hop into the love portion. All right. Messages for Virgo. Let's see. We have recovery. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for holding my hand throughout my recovery upon the path of radiant health. So a lot of you guys could have been sick. Maybe you guys were around someone that was sick. Maybe you guys lost someone. Um... If not, this is you guys just coming back, recovering, being healthier. You know, maybe you just got out of something very negative, very toxic, something like that. So um, you guys are recovering from a situation. So loving this, becoming more healthy. Okay. Um, let's look at the Archangel Michael Oracle message. And then we're going to hop into the love portion. All right. Archangel Michael, what message do you have for Virgo? April 1st to the 15th. Messages for Virgo, April 1st through the 15th. New beginnings in a fresh start. Yes, love it. All right, love it. So, thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. So, you guys have a lot of new beginnings and fresh starts coming into you guys. So, definitely definitely loving this energy love it guys beautiful messages all right so let's hop into the love portion let it be great virgo let it be great let's see what messages are coming in for you guys i am using the mermaid tarot bit, all right 
love messages for the sign of Virgo and love. April 1st to the 15th. What love messages do you have for the sign of Virgo? April 1st to the 15th. What is coming in for the sign of Virgo in love? April 1st to the 15th. All right, Virgo, let's see what we got. So how you're viewing this situation. Let's see. How is Virgo viewing this situation? April 1st to the 15th. Let's see. The Nine of Cups. Okay. So the Nine of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, but if not, there's someone around you or someone that you know, and you want wish fulfillment with them. This is you also like, you guys could have already been together. And this is you wanting to be like wrapped back into this person emotionally or you want them to be wrapped back into you emotionally so how you're viewing the situation you're viewing it as for some of you guys i feel like you might be disappointed by them emotionally but there's still some emotions left. there's still feelings there there's still love there all right and you want this person back or you want like wish fulfillment you want to move forward with this person emotionally all right um let's see what we got let's see what the challenge is yep see the challenge is the three of cups the reunion, you guys coming together, more um, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you guys can be dealing with a water sign, but this is the challenge. The challenge is the, the connection, the reunion, like you guys coming together, okay? So let's see what's on your mind. We have the sun card. Yeah, see, it could be a Leo. Maybe you have that in your chart, but if not, you just want happiness all around this situation. Or you just want to see things positive again, or you just want to be happy with this person again, um, are you, this is you ready to be happy again, okay, with the sun card. But I feel like with the sun, you guys are also gaining clarity. The sun is also about clarity. So you just have a lot on your mind, and I feel like you guys are gaining clarity from whatever is on your mind, whatever you're thinking, whatever has been going on. So you're processing a lot, but you're gaining clarity in the situation, okay, even emotionally. So let's see what's going on in your foundation, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So some of you guys know that someone's coming towards you and they're about to take action. For some of you guys, someone is on their way back or they're coming towards you. Someone's coming towards you, okay, with the King of Wands. The King of Wands is an action taker. I also feel like this person really hurt you in the past despite the sign. And this person is coming back to turn things around. Now, I feel like with the Sun card and what's on your mind, that's what you're wanting. But I feel like you might be kind of stressed out a little bit now that I see the King of Wands is in your foundation. Some of you guys have new love around you too. But I feel like with the Sun card here, um, you might be in like a low vibration or with the Sun card, like kind of stressed out, some anxiety. You know, like you're ready to just not be stressed out anymore because you don't know if this person is going to come back or not. You just want to be happy with this person again. Like, you just want things to go back to how they were. Or you just want to actually see this relationship progress. All right? So, let's take a peek in the um, recent past. Let's see what was going on in the recent past. Judgment. Okay? So, judgment is here. Someone avoided making a decision. And I feel like with the energy that is here so far, someone's making some type of final decision. Someone was avoiding this relationship or avoiding, avoiding making a decision on this relationship. Um, and they no longer can deny the connection. Um, something is about to happen. Something's about to shift and change for you guys. Because we have the two of swords. Someone was either dealing with another person and they were torn. Or they were just in two different minds. One minute they wanted it. One minute they didn't. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Gemini. Um, Aquarius or Libra. It doesn't have to be. But someone was really torn. Or you guys have someone fighting over you. We had the five of wands, or this was you fighting over someone, okay? I feel like with the high priestess, you found out that there was someone else, or they found out that you were dealing with someone else. This is like competition, fighting, you guys both fighting for the same person, or two people fighting for you guys, okay? It looks like someone just gave up, though. Someone was like, I'm tired of fighting, I'm not going to fight for it anymore. Whether it was you, whether it was them, Okay? So let's see um, what's coming in in the near future. Page of Wands. Uh-oh. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So it looks like there's communication coming in. Okay? And this is a different kind of communication. It's fast. It's something that you've been wanting to hear. It's something that you've been wanting to know with the Page of Wands. Okay? You guys could have argued a lot in the past. Maybe had some disagreements. Weren't getting along so well. 
maybe every time you guys talk to each other or message each other, there was a lot of disappointment here. But it looks like that's about to change. The King of Wands is here. He's in the upright. So someone went from a page to a king in this relationship. So then we have, let's see how you see yourself. The Queen of Cups. So you guys are focused on yourself. You guys are um, finding balance emotionally with the Queen of Cups. You guys are all about yourself right now. It looks like you guys had to do a lot of like self-love, a lot of self-work. So it's like you guys, um, for some of you guys, you guys can be very emotional at this time as well with the Queen of Cups. Like you're in love, very emotional, really missing this person. I see you being emotional about this situation because for some of you guys, it's like there's going to be some type of new beginning or something that's going to happen between you guys and you're not expecting it. And it's going to be very emotional for you. Okay. So like what's going on in your environment? Let's see. The Queen of Wands. See, I knew it. See the Queen of Wands, the King and Queen of Wands, the Page of Wands. There's going to be communication about this relationship. This is a soulmate connection. This is your counterpart. And I see you moving forward. I see you getting what you want with the Queen of Wands energy. For some of you guys, um, there was someone else. And as a Queen of Cups, even though there was someone else, it could have been a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, in between you guys. You still love this person. You're still emotional. You still have a lot of love for this person. You're still in love with this person. And you want to be with this person. And they're going to make that decision. The King of Wands is looking at the, the Queen of Cups. Okay? So, if you are emotional about the relationship as far as if they're going to choose you, if they're going to be with you, if they love you, they really do. Okay? There could have been someone in between you guys for some of you guys. So let's see um, what's in your hopes and fears. Face of swords. So see, yeah, you're ready for them to speak some truth. But you question if they're going to speak the truth. Face of swords is you also wanting a victory. You're like, you want to know the truth and you want some type of victory. You want to move forward. Um, this is you also like cutting out the bull. Like with the ace of swords, you're just like, no, like tell it to me straight. Like tell me everything. I want to know the truth. I want to know what's going on. Okay. It could be again a fire, um, not fire, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And you're waiting for communication. You've been waiting for a while. Right? But it looks like they're finally ready to speak something to you, like speak some truth, say something. Because we have that two of swords. Now we got the ace of swords. So some type of communication is coming in. But like for some of you guys, this ace of swords is a new beginning. Okay? Aces are all about new beginnings. So there is some type of new beginning and it's starting with communication. So there's going to be some type of communication that comes in. That's going to start this over. That's going to um, allow some type of new beginning or some type of fresh start between you guys. All right. Um, so let's see what we got far as the potential outcome. The magician. And this is also Gemini and Virgo energy. So you guys have manifested this. You guys manifested this connection to come back together. And you're going to get what, you're, what you want. You're getting what you want. Remember, the, the new moon is in Aries, April 5th. So... You guys are going to manifest something, this new moon, I feel strongly, and it's going to, it's going to come. It's going to come in the next cycle though, but it's going to happen. All right. So let's go ahead and clarify that can definitely change the reading. I don't think the reading is going to change. Not that much. Not with this energy. Like you guys don't have one negative card out here. Mm -mm. Even if I put, well, if I put reverse, I mean, we have that three of cups situation. Um, that third party situation, but for some of you guys, the third party wasn't even a sexual third party situation. It was them dealing with their friends, maybe putting a lot of energy into work. I don't even really see, there's no pinnacles out here either, but whatever the case is, I don't really see any bad cards. I actually see a lot of things shifting and changing for the positive. All right. So let's go into this three of cups. Why is the three of cups here for Virgo? April 1st to the 15th. Clarify the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here for Virgo? April 1st to the 15th. Clarify the Three of Cups, please. Yep, see the World card. Something is coming to an ending. Something is wrapping up karmically. See the, the Last Judgment. And this deck, the Last Judgment means a final decision. And it's crazy because in the Mermaid deck, this one is just about making a decision. Okay, judgment. Dealing with your karma. Making this some type of decision. But... For some reason, I remember I just said a last judgment was going to be called, like a final decision. And we have the last judgment. That's a final decision. So if you guys were in a third party situation, that's coming to an end. The world card, they're wrapping something up karmically. All right. That's coming to a complete ending. 
so that nine of cups and how you're viewing this situation, wanting much fulfillment, wanting this person to be with you, wanting to be back with this, whatever you're wanting out of this, whatever you consider to be, whatever is going to make you happy, whatever is wish fulfillment to you with this person, you're going to get it. Okay. So I'm liking, I'm loving that actually. So let's look at the sun card. Let's see why the sun is here. This is what's on your mind. Why is the sun here for Virgo and what's on their mind? Why is the sun here? Look, the sun twice. Can't make this shit up. Okay? So, the seven of cups is about confusion, right? Remember I said you guys have a lot going on. All right? There's a lot going on. Um, remember I told you guys could have been a low vibration, kind of stressed out. There was a lot going on with the seven of cups. But you're, but everything is changing because you're changing your mindset. Okay? We do have the sun here twice. So, you're gaining clear, Like, you're getting clarity. So, is that person. The, the sun twice, that means a lot of things are shifting and changing. Okay, so definitely loving the energy. I'm going to clarify the sun one more time. Why is the sun card here for a Virgo and what's on their mind? Four of Pinnacles. Okay, so whatever you guys were holding on to, you guys are letting that go. Because you guys are seeing the situation totally different. Could have been with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Or that's just telling me that's your energy. You're holding on to something and you're letting it go. You're thinking differently. You've taken the time to think. The sun card is here twice. Like I said, you're gaining, like, you, like you're getting clarity now. Your energy is shifting, okay, for the positive. So we have the king of wands that was here for what's in your environment. Why is the king of wands here? Clear by the king of wands for Virgo. April 1st to the 15th. Why is the king of wands here? Okay, so the two of pentacles came out in the reverse. Okay, so this relationship there was you guys try to make things work and it wasn't working out there was no balance this person needed to find balance not of wands this person was back and forth things were unstable between you guys um they had someone else involved of course and let's clarify one more time and this person is finding balance so like no more false starts um let me see. That was the chariot and the four of wands. Give me one second, Virgo. All right. Sorry. I lied, Virgo. It was the hermit and it was the chariot. Okay. So the hermit is your energy, Virgo, the chariot. But it came out on the floor like this when I picked it up. Okay. So the hermit is telling me it came in sideways when it fell on the ground. Someone withdrawed from you that didn't want to withdraw from you or someone like separated themselves from you. You separated yourself from them. You guys took a break. Of course, there was a breakup. There was a break between you guys, separation, whatever you want to call it. And I feel like this King of Wands kept moving forward. Okay. But eventually it's like they got it. They realized during the separation or breakup or whatever happened between you guys that you are the one that they want to move forward with. And that's why the chariot is here. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at judgment. This is what was in the recent past. Judgment, okay. Why is judgment here? Clarify judgment. Why is a judgment card here? Clarify judgment. Why is judgment here? The strength card. Yeah, see? And the recent past. So someone, again, like I said, was avoiding this. They doubted this connection. They were in denial of the connection, you know, with judgment and the strength card here. Just looking at the cards around the reading. Yeah, look, see, judgment again. You knew what you wanted. They were unsure. Or I feel like they were telling you, like, oh, I'm so confident in this. I want this. You are who I want to be with. This is what I want. But we're taking action towards someone else or still focused on something else or someone else. All right? So let's go into the Queen of Wands. That's what's going on in your environment. Let's see why the Queen of Wands is in your environment. Why is the Queen of Wands in Virgo's environment? Clear about the Queen of Wands for Virgo in their environment. The Page of Cups. See? So you're getting what you want. Like I said, Page of Cups, Queen of Wands. You're getting what you want. Okay? No more confusion with the Seven of Cups here. You're getting what you want. Um, the Page of Cups is here. So love messages are coming in. Clarify this page of cups. Yep, see, so Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. All right, so this is you heartbroken. This is you torn. This is you feeling some type of way. There was a third party for a lot of you guys, okay? Um, 
for some of you guys, there still is a third party. But that's coming to an ending. And they want a new beginning with you emotionally, which is why the Page of Cups is there. Well, they're coming in as like, they're coming in as if everything is okay. Like nothing ever happened. Like you guys didn't go through what you went through. So they're sending you messages, text messaging you, stuff like that. They know that you're heartbroken. They know that you're torn. But as a queen of wands here, you're going to get your way. You're going to get what you want. Others of you, like I said, there was a third party for sure. But I want to go more into your energy with the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The Nine of Wands. And you've been waiting for this. This is what you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for them to message you, text you, talk to you. And that's what's coming in with that Nine of Wands. It's looking at the Queen of Pentacles. You've been ready to give up. You're about ready to give up. Some of you guys have already given up. But there's communication coming in from someone. Why is a magician here for Virgo in the potential outcome April 1st or the 15th? Why is a magician here? Why is a magician here? Clarify the magician. Why is a magician here? Seven of Pentacles, you're getting what you want. Yep. So if there was a breakup, a pause, whatever, um, there's been some type of Yep, see, this is your counterpart. Yep, see? So they've had some type of enlightenment. They are looking at things totally different, looking at things from another perspective. This person was very stubborn, not willing to offer, not willing to give, not willing to invest, wanted to keep this third party, didn't want to risk losing you. They're coming back offering something. Um, the hangman, like I said, when you guys broke up or separated or whatever happened between you guys, that they start, like, that's when they started to think about the situation and think about what they have with you and stuff like that. Thinking about what they were about to lose. So let's see why the hangman is here. Clarify the hangman for Virgo. Why is the hangman here? The nine of pentacles. Yeah, I see the separation between you guys. And they were really thinking about you, missing you. This is someone like longing for you. You know, the six of wands, wanting to move this forward. Looking at you as their empress. For some of you guys, you can be married to this person. Because we do have the queen and king of pentacles. Someone made a huge mistake and now has regrets. So, I just see a lot of different things going on here. Yep, see, this was a third party. This is definitely a third party situation. That they were in between you and someone else. Yeah, for sure. All right? So, no more third party. Let's pull the angel answer messages. And let's see what we got with that. Messages for the sign of Virgo, April 1st to the 15th. We have, hmm, unlikely. Why, Virgo? And then we have romance. What's at the bottom of the deck? Abundance. Let's see. Let's clarify this unlikely card. I feel like you guys might be thinking really negative on this situation. Maybe you think that it's not going to happen. The Ace of Wands is here. And we have the Page of Pentacles. See? You guys are thinking negative. There's a there's a there's an offer coming in. And you guys are gonna take the offer. So a lot of you guys are thinking negative, or you're like, oh, this is never gonna happen. This isn't gonna happen. They're never gonna communicate. They're never gonna talk. They're never gonna say anything. But as soon as you shift and change your energy and practice on freedom, freeing yourself from the situation, focus on yourself, your free will, start manifesting, recovering from the situation emotionally. New beginnings and a fresh start is going to happen. But you're holding this connection back because you guys are thinking negative about the whole situation. Or you just feel like it's never going to happen. Okay? So that's what I'm getting for a lot of you guys um, with that unlikely card. But give me one sec because I want to look at something really quick. Yeah, see, it says unlikely. This situation you have asked about is unlikely to occur as you are imagining it. There may be a different version of events that will take place, or it may be that what you've asked for or asked about is simply not in your highest good or greatest good at this time. Place your focus on the alternative possibilities. Open your eyes to different opportunities or be willing to experience a unique and more uplifting outcome than what you have originally planned or expected for yourself in this situation. So that's what I'm saying, unlikely. You guys don't feel like it's going to happen. You guys are thinking very negative on this situation, okay? And you're, and you're trapped in negative thoughts with this unlikely card. The Ace of Wands and the Page of Pentacles, this is you like, huh? 
hell, this is never going to happen. They're childish or like they're not going to offer. They're not going to give. Okay. And it's going to happen if you shift your energy. Okay. So that's what I'm getting for you, Virgo. I love you guys. If you guys want to book with me, you guys can go on my website, fireintuition.com. And I will talk to you guys again soon. I love you, Virgo. Bye.